टेल यू हाउ यू कैन पास डेटा फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू पेरेंट इन रियक्ट सो इन रियक्ट वी नो दैट यू कैन इजिली पास डेटा फ्रॉम पेरेंट टू चाइल्ड यूजिंग द प्रॉप्स दैट इज वेरी इजी बट यू कैन नॉट डायरेक्टली पास डेटा फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू पेरेंट सो दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन रियक्ट बिकॉज इन रियक्ट वी हैव ए सिंगल वे डेटा बाइंडिंग सो लाइक डेटा फ्लो हैपन्स इन ओनली फ्रॉम पेरेंट टू चाइल्ड सो वॉट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पास डेटा फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू पेरेंट सो दैट इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू टूडे सो दैर इज अ हैक फॉर इट सो फॉर दैट लाइक आई हैव ओपन द स्टैक ब्लीड सो इट्स एन ऑनलाइन आई डी दैट यू कैन यूज सो आई एम देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टेम्पलेट्स आर देयर सो आई एम गोन जस्ट चूज द रियक्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट वॉन्ट्स एंड इट विल गिव यू ए बॉयर प्लेट कोड ऑफ द रियक्ट सो आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन पास डेटा फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू पेरेंट okay so first of all here we have the app component and uh, first of all i will create a child component as child.js and uh, i will uh, create a component here for default child so this is the child component that i have created and uh, this is the app component so i am going to just import that child component here so i will just import it here and, uh, okay so in okay child component we have to import react as well okay so we have yeah so you can see like we are getting the hello from child that is the child component we are able to render it in the parent component okay so yeah do that we in the parent component we will create a state so since we are using the functional component so we have to use the use state hook for using the state so first of all just import use state and uh, create a new state so i'm giving it a name as name and set name and the initial name i can keep it as suppose john okay and uh, now if we just uh, remove this line okay so initially it will show us my name is john okay so here we are uh, we have set the initial value john initial value of the name as john so it will show john here so now what it will do is that we want to pass a data we want to pass a different value for the name from the child to parent so basically we are, we will pass a different data from child to parent and that data will be shown in the parent component that is the app component okay so for that what how how it will do that like first of all we will do we will create an event handler function in the parent component and then we will pass that event handler function from the parent to child as a prop and that event handler function actually modify the state so let's give an let's just give give an example to you so yeah so first of all i will create a event handler function i'll just give it a name as change name and uh, it will take name as input and it will just set the value of that name like set the it will just change the name value to that name that we are taking input so we have just created event handler function and it will just change the state okay so we will just pass that as a prop into the child component okay so we have just so as you can see like we have created event handler function and we have just passed that uh, event handler function as a prop from parent to child okay so what it will do is like we will call that event handler function from parent to child like in the child component we will call that event handler function so i will just create a button here and when that button is clicked then that event handler function will run okay so i'll just give it as name as change name okay so 
and uh, so whenever that button element is clicked that event handler function should run so i will just import the props here change name and uh, here and uh, when that button is clicked then we will change the name so we'll just when the button is clicked then that event handler function will run okay so i have created a button as change name so when that uh, button is clicked then that event handler function will run and that actually will change the value in the pen component so i'll just create a like i will create on click and uh, whenever that is clicked then i will i want this and we can give it any name like we can give my name also suppose i give that this name so what it will do that when that button element is clicked then change name will be executed and it will take this as an input so uh, it will change name will run as a, this as input so in a way it will do that like this change name will be running as a my name as an input so it will update the state in the parent component and i know that as soon as we update the state in the parent component so that name will be changed here as well so just now it is done so if we just click on this button then it will change the state and uh, in the pen component it will change the state so the name value will be reflected here so just click on the button and you can see that the value of the name has been changed so this is actually my name is min my so that is actually in parent component right but since we are calling the event handler function from the child component so it is updating the state in the parent so that is how you can actually update uh, you can pass data from child component to parent component so that is a different that is a hack that you can use as you just saw here